Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Big Bang Chemistry, a complete solution of the chemistry. In this fourth series of this video lecture, which is the factor affecting the keto and tautomerism, we are going to learn the fact that what are the factors which governs the stability of keto and tautomerism. So from the beginning we know that one dynamic equilibrium exists in between the keto and enol tautomerism. Second thing we must know that keto and enol tautomers are not equally stable. But we have that keto form is more stable than the enol form. Generally what happened the keto form is about 50 kJ per mole is more stable than the enol form. What is the reason behind it? Because the carbon oxygen double bond is much stronger than the carbon carbon double bond of enol form. This is the general concept. In general, this happens. So, generally, we can say that keto form is more stable than the enol form. Right? And what is the reason behind it? We will understand in the next phase of the video that thermodynamic explanation by calculating the bond energies of keto form and enol form. How we will calculate we will learn in next phase of the video. So now it is clear that one dynamic equilibrium exists between the keto and enol form right but it doesn't mean that keto form is always stable than the enol form right. So now we can understand this, this statement with the help of some example. So let's discuss the example number one first. Try to understand the keto enol tautomerism of propanone. The structure of propanone is CS3, CO, CS3. And when you will check its enol form, right, which is CH2, double bond, C, OH, CS3. When we do the calculation, then we find that the keto content in this compound is 99.99% and enol content is 0.1 percent. So this is the case of monoketones where we see that keto form is more stable than the enol form. Now check the example number two. Case of beta diketones. We are taking these examples to understand that is it necessary that always keto form is more stable than enol form. Now check the case of this beta diketones. The general example of beta diketones is this CS3, CO, CH2, CO, CS3. When you will check the enol form of this, then you will find the structure of enol form this compound is something like that. If we are stuck with the general statement that keto form is more stable than the enol form, then blindly we can say that this is the keto form and this is the enol form. But in this case, what we are finding that here enol form is more stable than the keto form. What is the explanation behind this? The reason behind this is that because this enol form is able to form intramolecular hydrogen bond and because of the formation of this intramolecular hydrogen bond, this enol form of this beta diketones is more stable than the ketone form. Now check the example number 3. Case of cyclohexadienone. The structure of cyclohexadienone is like this. When you will convert this keto form into enol form, then you will get one favorite compound which is known for everyone which is your what phenol. So actually this beta cyclohexadienone is the keto form of phenol. This is the phenol. This is your what cyclohexadienone. But here again you will check then this is the keto form and this is the enol form. And when you want to compare the stability and if we follow the first statement only right then we find that we can say that keto form is more stable than the enol form but here this statement is not valid here also enol form is more stable than its keto form but here reason is different what is the reason behind this reason is totally different when you will check here this lone pair is in conjugation right so here one factor is working which is the word resonance right so because of resonance that is your word conjugation this enol form is getting extra stability one more factor is it working which gives the word extra stability of this enol form which is what aromatic character. These two factors are here governing the stability of enol form of this 
cyclohexadienone. So now from this three example, it is clear that for the stability of ketoenol form, there are many factors which can affect the stability of either keto form or enol form. So in the series of this video lecture, we will explain that what are the factors which is going to affect the stability of the keto enol form. So, but here we have the look on the one list of the factors which are going to affect the stability of the keto enol form. The first factor which is going to affect the stability of ketoenol tautomerism is aromaticity. The second factor which affect the stability of the ketoenol tautomerism is hydrogen bonding. Third factor is nature of solvent. Fourth factor is resonance or conjugation. Fifth factor is substitution. Sixth factor is ring strain. Seventh factor is a steric factor. So each factor play an important role in the stability of keto or enol tautomerism. So in different different compound different factors are working. In this series of the video we will discuss the different example and we will try to understand how these factors are going to affect the stability of either keto form or enol form. Mm -hmm.